السلام علیکم دس از اے سیکنڈ ویڈیو آن سب کون بی ٹی ایس ٹوریل ان دس ویڈیو وی ول بی کنٹینگ دا بیسک کنفیگریشن وچ از ریکارڈ فار پروگرامنگ دا مین کنٹرولر پریویسلی وی ہیو کنفیگر دا کنٹرولر فار موڈ پس اینڈ کنٹرولر فار انپٹ آؤٹ پٹ کارڈس ان ایس پی ٹی Uh, now in this video we will uh, we will see how you can configure the input output card and uh, how to define uh, variables which is required during programming stage now if uh, we uh, uh, choose the controller here and then click on input output a pop up menu will open uh, it has three options uh, data transmission module input output module and input output point Now, data transmission module is is a card which acts as a bridge between main controller and input output cards uh, each card can uh, communicate with uh, 16 input output modules now if i define one card here its model is 233 and it is only card available for this controller we don't have, have any other uh, variants for data transmission module now if i try DTM one here. Uh, now, if I go to uh, input output module, now we have add option here. We can add up to fifteen cards in this data transmission module. Now, if I add another DTM, now we can add DTM sixteen uh, uh, cards in uh, DTM two. So for learning purpose, we will only define one card, and we will switch to our input output module. Uh, now in this input output module, uh, if we add a card, uh, by default it is a uh, analog input card. This model is XP three uh, thirty. We can change this card from here. We have a six channel voltage input card, RTD input card, uh, RTD input module, four channel, uh, four channel AO module, analog output module, and pulse instrument. We have different options for uh, uh, available here. So if I select uh, analog output and one analog input card. Zero and one. Now the uh, this card has four channels, means it can output four analog uh, signals. And analog input has six channels, means it can uh, take input from six analog uh, devices. Now if I go to I/O point, now we can define analog outputs for that card. Now we have uh, uh, added all the four outputs, so that uh, add button is now blur. And if we go to analog input, we can again define the analog signal. We can change the description for each uh, by, click, uh, by clicking and uh, by writing the. Description. Let's say it's a section pressure. Uh, there is a uh, it's a control wire. Yeah. Uh, it should be in ten like this. So control wire. And uh, we can uh, set RPM signal. Uh, RPM signal. We can say it. Uh, okay, let's work on only two. Now, if I go to analog, we can define it. Uh, mostly, if I see transmitters are in four to twenty, so we can write it 
Bekleyen arkadaşlar. Now we have these options here. We can change the signal type uh, from here type two or type three. Or to positive output, negative output. Uh, now this positive and negative uh, output mean if uh, we have uh, this negative output uh, value here, uh, its output will be reversed according to control action. Uh, let's say if we uh, want to, uh, if we have a, a max value, it will output 4, and we have a minimum value, it will, it will output 20 milliamps. And uh, its, uh, it's uh, group is to false because we don't have uh, defined any specific group. Uh, right now, so uh, let's keep it default group and default region. Same for other. Now, this analog uh, we have now in analog input, uh, we it's a uh, signal type 4 to 20. We can set it 0 to 10 milliamp from here. Uh, its minimum value is 0. We can set minimum value 30 or any specific value we want to set. We can choose the uh, unit from here. Uh, if it's let's say it's a pressure, we can uh, set it as megapascal, kilopascal, pascal, mmHg, mmHg, meter, centimeter. We have a lot of variants here. Uh, if we want to add a temperature compensation here, which is required in case of low meters, we can uh, input a temperature sensor through RTD card and then uh, use it for compensation. This is pressure compensation, which is again used in case of low meters. Uh, this is filter, this is accumulator. Uh, we, if we want to give power supply, it is a two wire. If it is a two wire uh, signal, then we have to give power through. Uh, power supply, uh, we need to tick, uh, uh, check it, and if it's a 3 wire transmitter, we can um, uh, provide a supply separately, and in that case, we need to uncheck this. If we want to, to have its strength uh, in uh, during the operation, we need to check this. We can uh, record uh, period, uh, change the duration of uh, recording through this. If we want to set alarm uh, on this signal, we need to check this. And for low, low, let's say we have a third, 30 low, we can set uh, alarm at below 40. It will trigger an alarm. And uh, for high value, if we have uh, 200 maximum value we can set alarm on 150. These are priorities, uh, which means if uh, there are multiple alarms, uh, then uh, this priority system works. Deviation alarm if uh, we have multiple signals and if uh, one value deviates from other, uh, then deviation value, uh, then deviation uh, alarm works. For example, if we have 10 pressure transmitters and um, all our output uh, 100 uh, psi, if now if one of the transmitters uh, deviates from others and start uh, its output changes to 70, uh, then if we have set it uh, 30, 
Now in that case, the, uh, it will give an alarm. So these are the alerts. And again, area we have not defined any group and region till now, so uh, leave it for future. We can change priority through this if we want to uh, change its configuration. We can give uh, uh, its right to operator engineer level or uh, uh, to ad, uh, admin only. If it's an important tag, means it's, a, it's an important parameter. We can check this. So this is the basic. Uh, uh, a view of how we can configure different uh, cars and uh, how we can uh, 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 configure different settings on uh, input signals and output signals. Now, for defining variables, uh, we will again uh, click on a C1 controller and define variables from here. We have available options of one byte variable, two byte. 4 byte, 8 byte, and customize it. For now, we will only see 1 byte, 2 byte, and 4 byte, and 8 byte variables. Customized group will be uh, discussed in future because it uh, it is used the PID controller. And when we have a concept of PID, we will see how we how we can uh, define customized group. So this is a single byte variable. Single byte variables are those variables uh, which are boolean. I mean, either they are true or uh, either they are false. They don't have any other value. So if uh, 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 we can uh, change tag name to Valve status. Now, if you want to uh, configure this variable uh, to check if the wall is on or off, uh, we have uh, given its tag name wall state and we can write this description as index wall state. Again, we can change its priority to engineer, privilege, or operator on description. Uh, wall is open. Of description wall is closed. We can change the color from here. Uh, if we want a green when wall open, we can set green. And if wall is closed, we want red from here. We can set alarm on. Uh, uh, According to wall condition, if wall is off, you can show it in pop up menu. We can display this tag using button. Again, the same trend area down in Portland. Now, if we want to add a two byte variable, now two byte uh, variables mean it uh, has different options. Uh, frequency. 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 Uh, we can have a minimum of uh, frequency zero and maximum of 60 hertz. So we have uh, configured the variable from zero to 60. Unit is uh, uh, this is the hertz available. That's right. Now these are the options available in two words variable. It can be float, find float, description. Unsigned integer or integer. Uh, we should select this float 
because both have values in points and our frequency can be in uh, can be like 50.5 50.6 so we will choose this control if we set another variable uh, here and rpm We can set from zero to three thousand. We can select RPM if it's available. If it's not available, we can uh, write it manually on HMI. So uh, in this case, uh, we, uh, we will select integer because uh, RPM is are in like uh, 1000, 1001, 1002. It, it will not be in points. So if we come to forward variables, And uh, select tag name. Voltage. 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 Oh. A uh, low limit can be eleven thousand, or uh, so it can be eight thousand, and high limit. We will define high limit first. Thirteen, maybe, or eleven. Let's see. Unit. Post. So we have this following data types available: unsigned long, long or float. Now these uh, data types differ from two bytes. Uh, they they can uh, have larger values than float and integer. So this is the only difference between u long integers, long integers, and float. So eight byte variable we have this accumulation data type. Uh, this is again uh, since it's the eight byte variable, we have two oh, we uh, we have um, uh, larger, larger, larger range of uh, values uh, in this variable. Normally, the variables which are used in programming are mostly single byte and uh, two byte. In very rare case, we can use if a four byte variable where uh, we need to use uh, a variable for flow meters or for uh, measuring the running or counters. Eight byte uh, variable is very rarely used. Uh, in programming, so these uh, are the uh, these, these are the uh, two basic uh, contribution which is required before uh, uh, doing programming on um, on a controller. In the next video, we will see how we can uh, create a small uh, 